your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Good evening, I'm Patricia Del Rio with today's top stories. The coronavirus has now hit Connecticut. Today, Governor Ned Lamont announced a person from Wilton between the ages of 40 and 50 was diagnosed. That patient is now being treated at Danbury Hospital. Officials believe he or she got the coronavirus during a trip to California. This case is not connected to the two people who are employees of Danbury, Norwalk and Bridgeport hospitals who tested positive earlier in the weekend. The question now, how many many more cases could be coming to our state. The numbers are likely to increase, in fact, soar. Connecticut's likely to be a hotspot, a source of soaring numbers, in part because the federal government has delayed in lagging and lacking efforts to provide the tests that are needed to know the reality of facts on the ground, how many people have been infected. We really have no idea about the scope right now. We'll, of course, alert you to any new developments on the coronavirus outbreak on the Channel 3 app. To Hartford now, where one person has died and dozens of others without a home after a massive overnight fire at the Charter Oak Place Apartments. Forty people had to be rescued from the building, including babies who were thrown from windows to safety. Seventy-five firefighters worked in difficult conditions, including high heat, zero visibility, and no lighting. There is no question that they saved lives today, um, and tragically, we also lost a life today. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. All right, and we have a cold night ahead, chilly one with temperatures running in the 30s, but then tomorrow will be milder than today was. We had highs in the middle and upper 50s. Tomorrow, we expect to see high temperatures 60 to 67 in most parts of the state. That's going to be with a partly to mostly sunny sky. It's going to be a beautiful Monday for sure. In your early morning seven-day forecast, it'll be slightly cooler Tuesday as more clouds come in. Late in the day, we will have some scattered showers roll in here, especially after 4 p.m. Then Wednesday, it'll be partly cloudy with highs in the 50s before yet another system comes in early in the day Thursday when we might even have a few wet snowflakes. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.